Hello and welcome to my first video. As you can see I'm not in the normal place, I'm down a different lake after roach, bream, grud, carp, tench and maybe a perch. So nice to have a different form of surrounding. As you can see I've got different tactics, I've got my ledger rod out there for bream. And I've got my pole down here. I'm going to be float fishing for a roach and maybe a tench. I'm just using maggots as bait and maybe worms for sweet corn as well. For ground bait I'm using using various types and I'll be going through them through them later. Anyway, I will see you when I catch a fish. I've been fishing here for about an hour now and I haven't had much luck. I've had one little perch on the quiver tip and a small roach and small rod on the float. But still it's nice to get out from the normal lake and try somewhere else for a change. So I'm occasionally over on the far bank Carp keep sticking their backs out of the water in an attempt to try and get cool from the sun. But there's no point trying to catch those as they are incredibly hard to catch down here. But it's been a good day so far really. We've never ever caught caught much because it's a nice area, area to be in. I can't really think of a better way to spend a day. For now and I'll see you later. Right now the ground bait I'm using today, both in the feeder and in the pole cup, is Silver X Bream by Dynamite. In my opinion this is a great ground bait as it includes fish meal. And as everyone knows, Bream loves fish meal. I've also put a few goodies in there like casters, maggot and dead pinkies and attempt to get the fish on the feed. Although I've put all this out, I haven't had any room yet. I don't know if I will. But it's, it's just nice to put different tactics to test, really. Anyway, I'll see you when I catch a fish. As you just saw, I just caught a nice cruising carp of about two and a half pounds. It's in the keep net at the moment, so we'll wait at the end and I'll get back to you about the official weight. But that, I've got to say, is my biggest cruising carp ever and I was extremely surprised and happy to catch it. I caught it on a single bronze maggot. Slightly presented on that float, just so it sat on the bottom and enticed the fish to take it. Now, so far, I've only had one fish on there, so it hasn't pr proven very good. But my float tactics seem to be working well. I'm going to think about changing my ledger tactics. But, like I say, that was a nice cruising carp, and you can't be disappointed with that. Anyway, I'll see you when I catch your fish. As you just saw, I just caught a nice tench of about one pound at the maximum. It's not a big tench by anyone's standard, but a good fish anyway. Put up a nice scrap of my pole, took me about five minutes to get it in, because as any angler will know, that they are very powerful fish. Anyway, I don't know the exact weight yet because I'm going to weigh him at the end. Anyway, I'll see you when I catch a fish. Right, as you might be able to see, the wind's just started to pick up now. And I think for that reason, I'm going to pack up and go home. I've had a good day today, a really good day. 
I've had two tench, one of them you didn't see because it came off just as I got it in the net, so I didn't have time to get a picture of it. It weighed about three pounds. I had another tench of about two, and a great cruising of about two pounds as well. So all in all, it's been a great day. Just a shame we didn't catch any broom. And I, anyway, that's my sixth video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Nice cruising carp, just caught on single maggot float fish. Weighs about three pounds. Lovely golden colours. Put them back. Right, nice little tench, put on a single maggot again, like the cruising cup. Nice to finally catch one after all these videos are saying I'm going to catch them. Nice to catch one at last. Just put them back. You got it?